Hello everyone, welcome back to Phasmophobia. So, it did occur to me to wonder, does the level do anything? Like, you had to get to level 20, or was it 25, to unlock all the gear and professional missions, but after that, is it just for bragging rights? Like, does it change the difficulty at all or something? I don't know. I'm curious. Let's see what we got to do today. We have nothing! We have no good jobs. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready. Looks like there are others out there in need of help. 39,000 people are playing this game right now. In multiplayer. That seems pretty good. You know, concurrent numbers or... I don't know. We have a Bleasdale. A Bleasdale farmhouse. Sure. Let's add all our favorite things in. Extra cameras, the lighter for the the smudge sticks, salt, a couple tripods for our cameras, the extra camera. We get one for free. Crucifixes, crucify. I don't know how to say that word. When you have multiple, have more than one crucifix. Motion sensor for the objective. I've never gotten a sound sensor as an objective. Maybe I should stop bothering to take them. Save us some money when we inevitably die. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this a try. Bleasdale Farmhouse, professional. You know, these hints are kind of paranoia, because it says, Ghost targets you if you stay in the light too long. But it also says, Ghosts beware of being in the dark, because ghosts can tell. They can sense you when you're in the dark. I wonder if it's just, you know, completely nothing. It doesn't matter at all. They're just trying to get us to scare ourselves. We will grab our thermometer and our flashlight and a book. We grab the thermometer because it's the best tool in the game for finding the ghost. We grab the book because once you put it down, you're kind of done with it. You never have to worry about it again. You don't have to babysit it at all. Whereas the EMF or anything like that, you have to turn it on and off and look around and all sorts of things. Give me a sign. Thought I heard something right at the beginning, but maybe not. So this early, um, the room is probably not dark, or probably not cold enough to be easy. I hear some water. Oh, it's not the sink. I thought it was the sink. Maybe it's a bathroom on the other side of the room. Or maybe it's upstairs. No, it's not. It must be upstairs. Okay. But I hear the water. So it must be at least bathroom adjacent. Yeah, it's much clearer here. It's right, th right in there. And here's our cold room. Anything below 12? Anything below 13, like 12.9, 12. 12 point whatever is enough to know that you found the ghost room. Early on, at least. Um, well, you're moving my door on me already. Interesting. Later on, please sign my book. I'm collecting signatures for change. Okay, the ghosts I've been seeing lately are very aggressive about doors. Anyway, but yes, early on, um, the rooms will slowly begin to uh, cool off near the ghost, so that it, at, eventually, if it's a freezing temperatures ghost, like the hallway outside of it could be cold also. Even some of the rooms nearby, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure. But early on, if it's cold, that's where the ghost is. Let's bring a camera up, just in case it wants to show itself, and let's take a look at that door. See if we can get some fingerprints. Oh, it's flashing the lights in the hallway. That's the bathroom. That's the hallway. You can tell the bathroom because it has uh, 
natural lighting or you know bright daylight lights so where was the switch it hit to flicker those lights was it this one no you turned it back on hey we do have some fingerprints and thank you for hitting that I appreciate it fingerprints there also it was out there looking at me well, we can get a picture of that. Should count as fingerprints, right? Yeah. And we get a picture of the bloody water. We'll leave that there. So all we have is fingerprints right now. Could still be a revenant. Revenants are scary. Every other ghost, if you get like a nice straightaway where you're not interrupted and you can just run you will be able to outrun them they run at the same speed as you so if you keep going and don't get caught you're safe revenants go faster than you there you have to hide from them otherwise you're dead uh, let's see so we said we had fingerprints let's bring an EMF that, that's the ghost box. The EMF and the, and the spirit box. See if we can get this ghost to start talking. EMF would be bad. That would make it more likely to be a revenant. Revenants also write, though. And this one isn't writing. Or hasn't yet. Let's grab this key. That disappears when you get too low. Hello? Can you give me a sign? Got a two? Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can get a picture of that door. Let's see if it counts as an interaction. A uh, bone. Is there a bone this way? Hey, there's a bone. <laughs> Wasn't my intent, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, let's put that there for a moment. So, Spirit Box works in the dark occasionally. How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Ah, here it is. How old are you? How old are you? Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to leave? Are you evil? Move my book around? Got a three there. Are you a bad ghost or a good ghost? How old are you? How old are you? if we can get a reading on that. Nope. Four. Okay. Here. Does that count? <laughs> What's the temperature in here? It's still quite above freezing. How old are you? Where are you? Do you want me to leave? How old are you? Do you want me to leave? Are you evil? 
Huh. Second response to that. Maybe you are evil. Hmm. Didn't make it down the stairs, I don't think. Let's go recap. Oh, I wonder when you're playing multiplayer, does it like matter who picked up the key? Like, would the door be locked again until the person who picked up the first key coming comes and gets it? Hey, it's back up to ten immediately. Like, I heard some noises up there. Hmm. So bone, fingerprints, dirty water. We know there's fingerprints. It's not talking. It's not cold. We did not get an EMF-5. That, that rules out too many things. It sounded, it sounded fast. It sounded like it was moving fast at first, which means that it's not a revenant, right? Because if it was moving fast, that means it saw me. And, oh, we're at 35 already? Good God. Yeah, let's push ourselves back up a little bit. Alright, so, we got the dirty water. Get a ghost to walk through salt, capture a photo. Let's try doing some salt tricks. Or I don't even need the thing. I don't care. It's not a wraith. Right? Wraiths are not fingerprints, right? They are. But it's not freezing up there. And it's not going to be freezing up there. It's not even moving that direction. I think we'll bring a camera up. I bet we got ghost orbs. Maybe. Did you turn off all the lights? Oh, what a hassle. It's way off here in the back of the room. I don't want to have to go all the way around. This ghost is being so uncooperative. Oh, there's footprints. We're gone. We are gone. When it moves that much, it's about to hunt. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> But ghosts don't move that much. They don't move as much as it just it was doing. That seemed to me like it was returning home so they could go begin hunting from a spawn point. It walked in this in the in the salt. Let's see what we got. Any orbs? We'll just sit here and watch for a bit. I should have moved the Oh, there's the orb. You see it? A little bit right there. I should have moved our uh, infrared flashlight. 
Oh, I missed it again. It's just going like this. Oh, there's another one. All right, so we got orbs. So it is either a poltergeist. Oh, fingerprints and ghost orbs alone makes a poltergeist? Really? It feels like there should be, usually two evidence only narrows it down to two. What's your other thing, poltergeist? Spirit box. Really? You were just not talking to me all that time. But it was throwing lots of stuff. It was just throwing stuff all over the place. Yeah, I'll go with that. So we'll say spirit box poltergeist. We didn't get a photo. But it's already hunting. So. Bye. We got a bone. We got some other things. Photos. I don't really get the bones. Like, is that like a, a thing in ghost hunts? Do they expect to find bones? I don't know. It seems, a, it seems weird. Let's do another one. So, a Tanglewood. That's the tiny house. Uh, high school, no. Please tell no. Asylum, no. Let's try a Tanglewood. The tiniest. This is the little tutorial house. Which can be quite unnerving because you can't get away from the ghost very easily. Because the area is so small. You kind of have to rely on it uh, taking out one of your teammates instead of you. Which does not work that well for me. I, I swear they need to fix this interface to make it a little easier to work with. If nothing else, make it so that these numbers are more responsive. Like you click and you have to wait a few sec uh, not even a few seconds, it's more like a, a tenth of a second, but it's enough to be annoying. Couple sanity. And a glow stick. Sure. This area is well lit. Let's try not going in with our flashlight first. We'll use house lights. So I'm going to take a camera right away instead. We can get these set up though. If I forget to put the cameras on at the beginning, then I forget to turn them on once I uh, am in the house. So it's just a good practice doing it that way. So I've got a book, camera, thermometer. Heard something that way. Maybe down. Doesn't seem like it. S sitting at 13. No, I don't think so. What's that? In the garage? Yeah. Maybe. We're not getting the low temp we need to know. Maybe you're in this little storage room? So far, this is where the lowest stuff is. Oh, is it in the living room? 
13.1? I don't know. I, I could have sworn we heard it from over in this direction. Never mind. I was... Wow. I'm impressed if you were over here. Boy, where's the light? You were over here, and you were affecting things way across the house. That's impressive. Here, please write in my book. Yeah, it's clearly you're here. Wow. I misjudged that one so hard. Let's turn off some of these lights, just so we don't run up their electricity bill. Okay, I heard a door move over here from that ghost. Or maybe it was a clock, I don't know. Maybe I'm just terrible at this. Alright. What, what, what are our objectives today, anyway? Crucifix, motion sensor, salt. So we'll get the crucifix down, a motion sensor, and well, spirit box. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had a good look around for bones. Nothing else. We could still look in there. How old are you? Freezing temps. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Do you want us to leave? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you? Not being cooperative. Would you like me to leave? It's right here. How old are you? How old are you? It's just not responding right now. Let's put this right here. I have no idea why the spirit box works sometimes and not other times. But it does. Let's get a camera out there, and I think we'll go ahead and take our flashlight from now on, so we can tell when there's a hunt going on. Although, uh, I don't think there's going to be one immediately. How old are you? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Move the door. There. Was that anything? No, it was nothing. <laughs> How old are you? Where are you? Oh, we got a four. I can't see what it's doing though.
Let's see if we can find an orb. Look at that. All the way up to 10. But I couldn't see what it was doing. I think maybe it manifested like in a different room or something. I wish there were more interactions. Like, why can't the little, little, oh, there's the orb. Why can't this little rocker horse begin to, to shake? That'd be cool. We got orbs. And we got freezing temps. So freezing temps and orbs. Which means it's a phantom, a mare, or a yure. We've got the book out there and it's not being written, so it's probably not a yure. Mare would be spirit box. Phantom would be EMF five. Phantom is the one that's allergic to to uh no, Wraith is the one that's allergic to salt. So you're free you're EMF five. Increased chance. Turning the lights will lower its chance to attack. It could still be a Yuri. Let's put out um, there's no reason looking for fingerprints. It doesn't have any. We'll put out another book. And... Oh, did you just walk through? Yeah, we're walking around in there. We have to make a walk through salt, so let's do that. Do you turn off the breaker? You silly. Do you want to write in my book, please? Why can't I? Okay. Salt. 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 Already written. Already stepped in? Or was that me? Where are you? It moved the book. How old are you? Still a four. How old are you? We're just not getting that EMF five. But it's not talking to us either. I don't know. You turn off the lights. Maybe that makes it a bit more likely to be a mare. It's not hunting. I love the orbs. I think the orbs are cool looking. It's all spiking. We should put our EMF like right here so we could see it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna guess Mare. I bet that the spirit box just isn't working. It threw the book, and if it if it was gonna write in the book, it would have written the book. Instead, I think it's pretty. It's either a spirit box or an EMF, and neither one's working. And the EMF keeps giving me four. I kind of feel like it would have given me five on one of those occasions if it were going to. So we're going to guess that it's a mare. <laughs> it was a phantom. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Damn EMF. <laughs> I, I really, I, hmm. the issue is that the EMF, can, well, the spirit box is really bad at confirming no spirit box, because you could talk to a ghost all day long, and it would not respond, and then suddenly it'll say, adult, E, or something, and 
I don't know. Where was it the rest of the time? Oh, well. Let's do another job. We have a Grafton. Is it the one we just did? Or did we just do Bleasdale? I think we just did Bleasdale. Hmm. Sure, we have a Grafton farmhouse. With all the things, all the things we want. All the smudge sticks and salt. Cameras, crucifixes, crucify, candles, and photo cameras that we need. Motion sensor, photo, EMF. Okay. I'm going to take a photo. I always... I think that might be our usual thing now. Because I just I want to have a chance to take a picture if it manifests early. This is the, the farmhouse that's farm flatter. No, no attic. I don't know its layout as well. I could kick myself sometimes. Like I remember so many things, but not the not the key. Dum, bum, bum. Ba, dum, bum. Give me a sign. My blessing on this farmhouse. Nothing. We'll just wander for a bit. Look for some rooms. That's outdoors, right? I'm hearing some objects falling over this way, but it might be upstairs. Nope, it's right here in the kitchen. It's not cold enough here yet. Maybe it's in here? We got a 12. 12.9. 10. Okay, it's in here. But it's affecting things in the kitchen. Where's the light? There it is. I'm just gonna put this here for now. Let's watch that mannequin. So the mannequin is looking out the window right now. Uh, this is a circle, right? So this is actually faster to get back to the front. Yeah. Some ghosts are super active right from the start. This one's being a bit more quiet. It threw a can, and I think it dropped something onto the ground. Well, that's doing something in there. Let's, um... Let's wait for Spirit Box until later. Like, maybe it needs to be more riled up before it'll start Spirit Boxing. We'll bring up Vulcan. That could be the issue, is that maybe I need to provoke it more before it can start talking to us. door was that? Was that this door? And we got a two. There's a three. Oh, 
Thank you for the two. Can you write my book? I'd appreciate it. There's what you threw. Well, you can have it back. You know, I feel a little bad. We go to these places, houses, and these houses, and they have these workrooms that are full of all these, like, you know, really probably useful things. And, like, I've got a shelf. Not even a shelf. I've got a drawer in my kitchen that's got, like, a hammer in it and a screwdriver. Like, that's pretty good, right? It touched the door. We could try to get a fingerprint. I kind of want one. Like, I'm kind of thinking that would be cool to have a big storage area with, like, all these sorts of things you could do for home repairs. Instead of just a hammer and screwdriver. I think it moved this door. That was the same as it did before. Did you move? Are you starting to turn? I don't think so, no. You're still facing the same way. No writing yet. What do I have in my hand? Ah. No fingerprints yet. What a passive ghost. It didn't do anything when I was in there. Not there. Not there. Yeah. Not a fingerprint ghost, perhaps. Here, let's just... Nah. We can do better than that. Maybe like... Like this? Come on, I want to get on the table, obviously. now it's not even facing the right way. Maybe over here. Yeah. Might do. Might come back someday and see a fingerprint and say, oh! Wonder if it's a poltergeist. It's move it's throwing a lot of stuff. Let's see if we have a ghost orb. I swear we need better lenses. Like there's a ghost orb. It's moving like this. Going out the wind going out off this end. Come on, one more. There. I couldn't really see it um, when it was going over this because it's too bright. But when it comes over here against the wood, you can pretty clearly see it. So we've got Ghost Orb. And that's it. It's not writing. It's not an EMF 5. It could be a spirit box. Let's go and check that out. We'll bring a crucifix also. We need a motion sensor at some point. But this is a ghost that's curiously passive and yet very active in terms of what it throws. Oh, is that EMF? EMF 2, maybe? Another EMF too. Nope, not a lot happening. There's a three. You drop something else. Or something. A 
moved some paint, or I don't know. How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Really? You're out here? How old are you? How old are you? We're not getting a single response. Where are you? Four. Where are you? Whoa. Where are you? Am I in the wrong room? Wait a minute. No, it just moved the book. Here. Can we get it? See if that counts. Yeah, it's nice and nice and warm out here. It's getting super active in here. Here, do we have a fingerprint there? Perhaps. No, no fingerprints. Not hitting the walls. How old are you? Do you want me to leave? How do you feel? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you? Are you close? Are you here? Are you here? Ah. How old are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? This ghost is trying to capture me in here. Other ghosts try to keep me out. This one's trying to lock me in. <laughs> it's making me nervous. Well, it's a creepy little baby ghost. And we tried to take two pictures and failed. Oh well. But if it's hunted already, that makes me really nervous. Because we have not found enough evidence. Not that I know of. Like, we got one failure to talk on the spirit box. Maybe it's too much of a baby to talk. Our sanity is really low. It's throwing stuff all over. The crucifix didn't stop it. 
It's not freezing. I kind of think if it was a revenant, we'd be dead. Here, what 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 types do we have? Phantom, Poltergeist, Jin, Mare, Shade, Ure. It's not a Ure because it's not writing. It's turning on lights. What would Jin be? EMF5 and Spirit Box. We're pretty sure it's... Okay, so we know... Let's just go through these. It's not fingerprints. We've looked all over the place. It's not sp not fingerprints. Uh, what do we even have? We have ghost orbs, so we don't even need to look. It's not freezing temperatures, so it's not a phantom. It's not fingerprints, so it's not a poltergeist. It's not freezing. Could be a gin. Not freezing. No fingerprints. No writing. No no orb. And no writing. I think I think it's pretty clearly a gin. I'm not I mean I'm not sure. We haven't gotten Spirit Box or EMF five, but of the ones that are ghost orb and not freezing temps and not writing and not um not uh fingerprints, this is this is what's left. <laughs> Let's try it. So it's a gin. And I'm annoyed we didn't get a picture even though we are I could have just kept going straight up the stairs and um, hid and been perfectly safe, but I stuck stuck around. I was trying to get a picture of it, and to no avail. It was right back there. Creepy little kid on the floor. So, we think it's a gin. That's EMF 5 and Spirit Box. So, we didn't get a photo... I might as well, um, I might as well just go in and try to get uh, the motion sensor. Did it turn off power? Maybe it's not, Jin. Once ghosts start hunting, I find that they just keep on... They just chain the hunts. Like, it's hard to get back to their room in time before the next hunt begins. Anything going on there? Like, look at it. It's, still, it's throwing stuff around. I almost would think about it would be a poltergeist, but it's just, it's just not. It's not cold enough. But it wasn't talking to us. There we go. It hit the mo hit the motion sensor. Good enough. I don't know. I'm not covering myself in glory much in these past few hunts. It was a gin, so we were able to get it negatively by eliminating other other things rather than getting any evidence about it at all. <laughs> we, we, hmm. I don't understand how this insurance works. I would think you'd only get it if, um, I would think you'd lose it, like, most of the time. Like, it would be, like, negative 10 here. But then it would be, like, 75 if you get killed or something. Because it would, like, cover a part of your equipment cost. Maybe people don't understand how insurance works. Anyway, we are level 61. 
But that is enough for tonight. I'm gonna scare myself and not be able to go to bed again. Welcome back. <laughs> ready for you. I should have let, let us reach zero sanity. Now well. Thank you everyone for watching. Till next time.